Okay, so new home sales, meaning that new construction, has been on the rise. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Every home cycle cycles anyway, because, well, between permits and, and getting product through, subject to also supplies that, uh, you know, it takes to build a home, you know, builders have been pulling back. And now that, you know, we're starting to see, well, we've seen lumber prices coming down. Everything is marching forward. The best news is construction started to head on an upward trend again. Ha! Huh, amazing. So with that, uh, how does that compare to existing sales that seem to be eh, struggling a little bit, according to the media? And then, of course, well, yes, we have our seasonal element that's coming into play. And then, of course, what about those crazy feds? What the heck? We're going to go over all of that. But first, hey, do us a favor, subscribe, make sure that you're getting updated each and every week as we do these videos because it's free. I don't ask you for anything. I don't, <laughs> I don't ask you to support me financially. This is free. This is for you. There's no strings attached. We get great questions and that we answer within 30 minutes, except for on Sundays. All right. So ask your questions or keep asking your questions, really is how I should say, uh, hit the bell, you know, and give us a thumbs up, you know, let, uh, let the people know at Facebook that we are okay. They shut us down occasionally because for reasons we have no idea, but anyway, we're here again. Fortunately, they let me come back on every Saturday, every Saturday. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why, but anyway, so in the meantime, uh, subscribe, hit that bell. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on and about this fall weather because the leaves are changing. I mean, I, I have to admit, this time of year is absolutely awesome. It is so beautiful, especially when you head over the pass. Uh, if you head over Highway 2 especially, uh, you know, the, the trees and the, and, the, and the change and the reds and the yellows, it's truly amazing. Plus, Leavenworth this time of year is, without a doubt, a great place. So if you get a chance, definitely go over there. Uh, it's one of the most beautiful places on, uh, in, in our area as far as a little community. And uh, of course, the drive this time of year is absolutely stunning. So September, we're at the end of September. This will be our last Saturday in September. It is the 25th, which means that technically all of our numbers are up to September 24th. Again, this is in real time. So you're going to have some really good feedback. If you need to rewind this, make sure you take notes. We're going to go over a couple of really important things for you guys as the feds are doing their craziness. All right. So first, last week we were 0.7 homes under. Now we have 1.5% more homes available year over year. That's not a big number. It's 89 homes. When we're, when we're dealing with inventory that is less than a third, not quite a quarter, but less than a third of what we normally see this time of year, any time of year, that is, that is staggering. Normally we have, I think it's like uh, 6,000 and change homes available. Normally we have about 18,000 homes and we're struggling here. So sellers, you need to come back on market. In fact, when we come over here, this is the biggest number all week. I've been, you know, I watch this number every single day and this has been in the 1,000, 1,100, 1,000, 1,100. Today, because of Friday, Friday's a big list day, we had 1,513, so we celebrated, yay! <laughs> we had 400 more homes than we did the other day. Uh, still less than last week. But just like last week, we had over 2,000 homes that went pending, so those came right off the market. Already we're, boop, already driving our inventory down. With that, number of solds, 1,545. So we're still seeing a lot of homes closing even though <clears throat> month over month our numbers are down a little bit. And I'm going to explain the why because some people are like, wow, are we looking at a shift? No, it's seasonal. It's normal. When we pop over here, we're seeing 18.2% more sales year over year. So that's 2020. In 2020, we set a lot of records. And so we're resetting these records. We're seeing a lot of, mo you know, a lot of motivated buyers coming back into the market. In other words, like last week, the buyers are back. And of course they are. It's normal. 
the students are back in school, things are starting to normal out, last minute summer vacations have happened, uh, the leaves are changing, we're starting to see more rain, that is starting to transition, you get those nice crisp mornings, which I love, but uh, you know, so people are now starting to put, hey, buying a home, top of market, or top of mind, <clears throat> there we go, so with that, it is a normal seasonal trend. So we're gonna see our, our October market continue to improve all the way up until basically Thanksgiving. We taper off a little bit about mid-December. All right, new on market year over year, we're up 10.6%, which is awesome. Really, that is an awesome thing. Uh, we're only up 4.8% over month over month. Pended are up 9.6. Note, these two go hand in hand. We talk about it each and every week. When the inventory starts going up, pendants go up with it. Sales lag behind, but you know, go up with it. When the inventory starts dropping down, pendants start going down. It's natural, supply and demand. There's only so many homes. And we're already struggling. Now, some of you might be saying, George, you say struggling. What the heck does struggling mean? All right. If a healthy market has four to six months of inventory, <clears throat> excuse me. Meaning that if I have a bucket, and I call this bucket the Northwest MLS, okay, and all the agents put their listings in this bucket, all right, and I put a lid on it. If I add nothing else to this bucket, I have in inventory in this bucket. I should have four to six months of inventory to sell. Right now, we have seven to ten days. That's it. That's all. We have clients that have you know, normally would have like, I don't know, 50, 40 homes to choose from at any one time. I got five. <laughs> Slim pickings. But here's the really good thing. Sellers are starting to re-engage. Buyers have been, well, waning for a little bit. And there have been some absolutely fabulous purchases that our clients have made. Uh, you know, homes have been staying on market, not the seven to 10 days, but we've been seeing them as long as 20 days. And so we're starting to see that transition. And so there have been some sellers that have been watching the show saying, you know what, George, we're going to hold off until you tell us that the buyers are back. And we've been having this conversation with them every single week, not on this show, but on a personal level. And the best part is they're like, okay, so like the pins, they followed the guidance. Boom. They were like, oh my God, that's magic. And it worked beautifully. Again, we also think outside of the box, but it was a fabulous experience. And with that, we've had a few others. Fabulous experiences based on the targeting and the logic on the metrics and what buyers are doing. If you're a seller, if you're a buyer, hey, sellers are a little bit more negotiable. The ones that have been on market longer than 20 days, meaning they missed the market, those are great folks to go and have a conversation with. There you go. So when we come back here and we take a look at our sales, our sales are doing incredibly well. Even as you see here, sales are outperforming even what's coming on market. Not as big of a margin as what's going off market, which we will see these numbers in October, which is awesome because that's also what helps us with the consistency of the trend as we're going through. And Marie will post this. We talk about our trends and our normal cycles, okay? Because between now and Thanksgiving, really the mid-December, okay? our market will do incredibly well. And you need to be top of mind. Why? Because the last part of this, what in the heck are these crazy feds thinking? Watch Mortgage Backed Securities. They said during their November meeting or maybe just before it, they're gonna start reducing purchases of Mortgage Backed Securities. Now, for those of you, Mortgage Backed Securities were all the banks, they write loans to match Freddie and Fannie guidelines, hence that's why we have loan guidelines and they say, hey, you fit this program, you don't fit this one. That goes into specific buckets that they then put into a, another bin with a bunch of those buckets and they compile all of these mortgages that are in different buckets and they sell it as a mortgage-backed security, as an investment vehicle for your uh, life insurance companies, for uh, other countries by our debt. But REITs and hedge funds, they will buy this as security because they are banking that you will make your mortgage payment huh historically pretty good investment but when 
the U.S., who your government, who's been spending billions and trillions of dollars buying mortgage-backed securities, when they start backing off, that means rates are going to go up. And guess what? They did. The <laughs> Fed say they were going to start tapering and, and uh, uh, tapering on buying mortgage-backed securities. Immediately, the response bumped. Now, okay, so let's keep things in perspective here. This may not be 3% may not be 2.8%, excuse me, that many of you have been spoiled with. 3.25% is pretty doggone amazing. Still, in fact, Dan Golden at Cornerstone Lending, you know, we were laughing about it, okay? And even Juliana at Qualstar Credit Union is like, man, it is so funny. If only people understood what an amazing rate that is. Truly amazing. Just go back a couple of years, you were four and a half. <laughs> you bumped up to five. You were four and a half and everybody was like, oh my gosh, I got four and a quarter. That's amazing. That is amazing. Consistently, month over month over month, we had amazing rates. Same down here. Not owner occupied. Holy smokes. People were, were, were groveling to get 3.625 as an owner occupied. Still an amazing rate. Still can make uh, properties that could not pencil before. Now they actually pencil. They actually make sense. Still. So. Get off your duffer. <laughs> if you're looking at an investment, uh, better be watching the mortgage-backed securities because that is a direct, direct relationship to what interest rates are going to do, which is the other thing. Hey, listen, you need to be ready to lock. If you, you can't lock until you have a signed purchase and sale agreement between a, a buyer and a seller. Okay, that's a given. Now, you can float, right? Interest rates go up and down every day. Be very careful right now. There's a lot of things happening that's going to make the mortgage uh, interest rates, because remember, it's based on the stock market, right? It is a bond, treasure, 10-year treasury, mortgage-backed securities, things like this. It's out in the open market, just like your stocks go up and down. So do the bonds and all of the others, which adjust your interest rates, almost like a fish swimming along. But anyway, you've got to watch the rate and be careful that you do not, uh, don't miss the boat, as they say. Uh, if you need to, make a lock, okay? Some lenders allow you to ride a lock downward if it's greater than, I think, a quarter of a percent. Uh, but at least it keeps you from hedging upward in an upward trend. So remember, we talked about this, that it is going to start hedging upwards to about 3.5% between now and the end of Q2 of next year, second quarter. So, understand. Everything that you're doing has a financial impact. Remember, one point equals 10% less buying power. Remember that. So a half a point means you're losing 5% of your buying power. It could be a big deal when we are still looking at multiple offers, which guess what? We are. So new construction has been and is coming more and more online. Why? And because you're going to see incentives. Well, a lot of your big players right now uh, that have shareholders, your DR Horton, your it used to be Quadrant, I forgot what they're called now, North Star or something like that, your Pulte's, your uh, Lennar, um, Harbor Homes, all of these different very large builders that are uh, in the stock market, right? They are a traded, they have shareholders. So they need to get, yes, inventory off the books. Plus, with uh, construction material has come down in price and availability has improved, boom, they're hitting out in the market. Why? Because they can and it is the best time. And, well, year end profits got it, got our, you know, we have our December 31st deadline. We have to meet. Best time to start taking a look at some new construction. Now, don't just drive out there, okay? Many of these sites don't have model homes. Many of them do not have a place for you to, to, to look at the product, okay? In fact, uh, there were six of them that a client is looking at today, uh, and only one has a, a actual model home, and the rest of them don't. Why? Because they're, they're just not enough available homes that are getting either pre-sold or hmm, the plat is new enough that there's not anything there yet, and it takes them four to six months to build a house. So you have that transition time. Make sure that whoever you're working with, get that scheduled so that you can go out and meet and get better information. Don't trust a site agent to give you all of the best information. 
Because understand, they are looking to get your business. Yes, they want your business over you being represented by somebody else because then they can, well, they think that there's a perception they can sweeten the pie and that's not always the case. Uh, and many times we have seen buyers overpay for the same home that we've gotten better pricing with our clients, or at least amenities. The price will be the same, but we got more amenities. So keep that in mind. All right. As you guys are looking at this, our market is still doing incredibly well. Existing homes are suffering a little bit. Why? More because of inventory. And sure, as newer homes are coming on, people tend to gravitate towards newer homes. That's a given. No big deal. It's normal. But we need more sellers to bring their homes on market because now, until the middle of December, is your opportune time and because rates are going to have a massive indicator on this. So if you have any questions, post them. We'll be happy to answer them. We also have uh, a guarantee to you that, you know, hey, we'll get back to you within 30 minutes or except for on Sunday. We won't do that. Uh, if we miss that, eh, we'll send you a little goodie just because. And remember to subscribe and share this link with your friends. It's free. If you know they're looking at buying a home, share it. Besides, I'm a lot of fun. In the meantime, you guys have a great fall day. I will see you in October. <laughs> Take care.